Books. It's Brittany Jackson from Learning Technologies, and today we're going to talk about utilizing folders in Moodle. So it's another resource that's available to you. So here you can see I'm in the Moodle playground like I normally am. Up here I have to come up and turn on the editing function, which is this green box. Once it turns red, I can see that I can now edit things. And so I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find where I want to post the folder. So in what topic area do I want to post it in? Once I'm there, I'm going to choose add an activity or resource. And here I can see all the activities and resources. And right here, I've got the folder option. So if I go ahead and click on folder, just like everything else in Moodle, you got to give it a name. So supplemental materials. If you want to give it a description, just like normal. If you want that description to display on the course page, you can put it there. And then what content do you want to add? So you can either drag and drop to this spot here, or you can tap on this, select choose file, and select the items that you want. So if you do the select file, you can only do one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one in there and choose upload file. I can also grab, so I'm grabbing a couple of things off of my desktop, and I'm dragging them, as you can see here, into that folder. So now this folder has three files in it and you can decide whether you want it to display on a separate page or if you choose inline on a course page it'll just pop it out a little bit on the course page itself so that's up to you which one you prefer on a separate page we'll open a new web new web page specifically for this just like in all the other sections the common modules restrict access for the most part i leave these as the default again unless there's something specifically i need to restrict in which case then i would use the restrict access once i've done that and i've got my files uploaded I can hit save and return to course. And if I scroll down here to that section, the last thing in here should be supplemental materials. You can tell it's a folder because it has the yellow folder icon. And if I click on it, it opens up the new page and here are the files that students can access. They can download them individually or they can download the whole folder at once. It depends on what they may need or may want to do. The folder feature is really good to prevent death by scrolling, especially if you've got multiple documents related to the same topic that you want students to access. I would just make sure that whatever you put as your name and or in the description, it's clear what's available to them in that folder so that they know what they're getting when they access it. And that's really all there is to creating a folder in Moodle. As always, if you need assistance, feel free to swing by the Tech and Trek office. We are here to help. We are located in the library on the first floor just before the Clock Tower Cafe. As always, happy Moodling! Thank <laughs> you.